This is a really important meeting for UT Southwestern. We have a presence throughout the meeting. We've got multiple members of the cardiology faculty that are on the planning committee. The AHA president is uh, from UT Southwestern and the CEO of our university hospitals. What I'll be talking about uh, in my lecture is a new blood test for diagnosing heart attacks and the application of that in the U.S. marketplace. This is a test that we've been working on as researchers at UT Southwestern for a long time and has actually been implemented in Europe. But it's about to be implemented at our hospitals at UT Southwestern and, and subsequently in other places in the rest of the United States. As many of you know, um, we have over 6 million emergency room visits per year in the United States for chest pain and EDs are already overcrowded and so there's tremendous pressure to try to unclog emergency rooms and deal with chest pain more quickly. We're already measuring troponins for myocardial infarction and the new test is both more sensitive so it can detect levels that we couldn't previously detect and more precise so that we can evaluate very small changes over very short time periods. And that low level detection range and that precision allow us to exclude MI very quickly. In the current state, it takes three, six, nine hours to rule out MI. With our new protocol, we can rule out MI in over half of patients in an hour. And we think that's gonna have dramatic implications for how fast and effectively we can move people through our emergency rooms and disposition them safely without using excess resources.